let's talk about hana sql generating time data let us talk about time dimension hana database has a standard tables for time dimension the transaction data granularity can be day or week or quarter based on the granularity you can create values in the hana database for every user there is a standard schema called underscore sys underscore vi this schema has a standard time table which is known as m underscore time underscore dimension in this video we will see how to generate the time data which is essential step before starting in a modeling In this slide, we are going to talk about creating time data in HANA database. In the catalog folder, under system schema underscore sys underscore bi, we have standard table m underscore time underscore dimension. You can see here. So this is the catalog folder. And you have underscore sys underscore vi, and under that you have table. This is the m underscore time dimension table. If we open the content of this, you can see the fields are date time stamp, date underscore sql, date time sap, date time, date sap, year, quarter, month, week week year all those fields are there if the required data is not present we can load the data in this table you have to open this sql console and delete the data from this table So this is the way this command is written and in this way that table can be deleted data can be deleted now you can see after executing that no data is there How to load time data in m underscore time underscore dimension. Once the data is deleted from table m underscore time underscore dimension, confirm the same by opening the content. It should show no values. We have seen just now. Now go to the help menu on the top and select quick view. In the quick view options, select the option generate time data. You have to select users. Now you have to fill the required fields. The system will ask some options select according to your data. For example, if your data has day level granularity, select the same. Also, select the calendar type as fiscal or Gregorian. 
Gregorian is mostly used where the data is calendar wise, like January to December. Fiscal is used where a certain fiscal period is allowed. April to March or July to June, etc. Here you can see that from year to year and granularity has been given. You can choose from the day, year, week, month, everything you can choose. And then it talks about for the day case, first day of the week. Once you say finish, it is going to generate the data in the table. Now you can see this table has been populated with all those timestamp data. And you can also see here that, that what are the ranges we have given, those are present here. Okay, so we have seen this. And uh, I think we are done by showcasing the, with the examples on the SAP server itself. And uh, when you are in projects, mostly this will be done by HANA administrator, and, in, and you don't need to perform these steps. Before deleting data from M underscore underscore time underscore dimension, make sure you have the authorization to do so. When you use M underscore time underscore dimension in your views while modeling, you will automatically get hierarchy, year, month, day, as the relationship already exists in the table. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe our channel and you can browse the website how to pw.com, how to hana.com for more such helpful topics. Thank you.